Well, this engine room is well looks uh, rather rather difficult. Now, uh, l let me do this one. This one is equal to e to the x. Then uh, I use uh, let me save space up here. There's a room here e to the x. I can write this one plus sine two half x uh, dx. Sorry, this is a one plus cosine two half x. So I can use the formula for the <coughs> double angle. Uh, this will be 1 plus sine 2, this so is 2 sine half x and the cosine half x dx 1 plus cosine 2 half x <coughs> which will be equal to cosine square half x minus Sine square half x. <coughs> oh, you must be good in trigonometry before you are taking calculus. On. <coughs> is that clear? Yes. Then this is good to integral. Uh, one <coughs> one minus sine square is a cosine square, so it becomes two. Cosine square half x. This is one plus twice sine half x. Cosine half x. Dx. Then this is equal to e to x multiple. One over that. <coughs> one over this <coughs> is a uh, secant square, right? It is. One half secant square half x plus two to cancel out cosine cancel one of them okay the left to the other cosine becomes tangent so tangent half x now then. <coughs> e to the x this half seeking square half x is the the derivative of a tangent half x is tangent half x derivative with respect x is half seeking square half x plus Tangent of x dx, which means this is equal to now. I'll, I don't skip the steps. This is equal to e times e to the x times tangent of x derivative plus e to x. Derivative is no difference, right? The derivative e to x is the same as e to x times tangent half x dx. Then this is this looks like the product rule. So this one looks like uh, the e to the x tangent half x derivative dx. Then, of course, you go to the ex of x plus c. Yeah, that is a very nice result. <coughs> uh, I think there is a, another way. <coughs> okay, maybe same space, the same thing. Let me use uh, another way of doing it. 
Okay, that's that is integral e to the x one plus sine x one plus cosine x dx. The other way <coughs> is that uh, we are familiar with it. Let t be half tangent x on. Then we have a triangle. This is a half x. This is a t. This is one. This is t squared plus one. And <coughs> from this triangle, we can find that sine x is equal to two t, right? One plus t squared cosine x is equal to 1 plus t square over 1 plus t square and uh, secant secant half x is equal to square root t square plus 1 isn't it? okay those are those are you must have familiar with this is a a basic method of integration. Now then we uh, e to the x well we change it change it this for t this will be one plus uh, one plus two t two t one plus t square one minus one plus one minus t square one plus t square now let me not change the x okay the x could be changed into t but here i don't need it this one you got to e to the x and multiply one plus t uh, 1 plus t square so this is 1 plus t square plus 2t right this is 1 plus t square plus 1 minus t square dx so this one is going to e to the x uh, this will be equal to Two. This is two, right? Cancel out t square, and this will be this. This will be two t plus one plus t square dx. <coughs> Is equal to e to the x. Now two two t over t two t over two is equal to t. This is equal to half one plus t square, right? Yeah, the x. Now what is t? T is half x, uh, tangent half x. What is 1 plus t? 1 plus t square is a secant square. So this is a half secant square half x dx. This is secant, one right? secant. Now, <coughs> e to x, this is half ten this is the derivative of uh, half x ten half x with respect to x right so it's coming back in again coming back this is the product so this is equal to the derivative right with respect to x, e x, and half, tangent half x.
DX. Yeah, <coughs> this is the product room. The product room. So this is the same thing, same result as a tangent. See that this is another way of doing it. Okay. Thank you for your watching.